Hi everyone, this is Rashid. In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can source MEQ messages to a Kafka topic on Confluent. So in this Red Hat OpenShift platform, we have two main deployment, Confluent and at the same time, Flatback integration to provide the queuing system, in this case, MEQ service. As you can see, uh, part of the Confluent, we have the default connectors, but we would like to enrich that by customizing the MEQ source connector. Uh, we have established a service that would drop a messages to a queue that's called new order and this is a quick example of how the service will react by dropping a message simply we will find it in the queue so potentially we would like to sync that data back to uh, the topic that's available on confluent platform we'll start by creating a topic that's called meq to kafka and now to start establishing the meq connector Based on the documentation, as you notice that we require to import MEQ client libraries, which is a jar files. So here we go, we have them in our directory. And now we need to establish our Docker file to customize the container image that will serve the MEQ connector. On the same time, we have attached another data generator connector just for demo purposes. And as you notice, we imported our jar files as well, part of that container image. Now let's, let's, let's start building that image by using docker build and passing the, um, the tag and the name of the image and the docker file. Once that's done, now let's push it to our registry. We're gonna wait for a few seconds. There we go, that's done right now. Now we can start by looking at the connect, which is the custom resource that's available uh, part of the Confluent deployment, which will provide this um, the stateful set deployment uh, for the connectors. So as you can see over here, navigating from the administrations, and let's go to the custom resources definition and search for connect. And from there, we need to adjust or uh, batch that deployment to read the new um, container image that we have established and push to our registry. So searching for the application, you can just update that value with a URL that um, serve your container image. And once you hit save, a new pod will be created, which part of the stateful set that hold this specific um, container. It will terminate and then we'll establish a new one and it will fetch the information from the registry where uh, we uh, pushed the container image that served the both connector that we uh, built, the data generator source, on the same time the MEQ source. Let's give it a few more seconds till it will reinitiate. We hit in a problem. Let's let's look into that and see how we can resolve it quickly. From the logs or events, you will notice the message that um, identicate that we need to update our registry or we need to pass our authentications. Uh, we'll simply just make it publicly available um, and that will solve it immediately. Here we go. Now we find it running. So we're gonna give it a few more seconds till it gets ready and then we're gonna test out the connector on the Confluent console. Sounds good, it's ready and the logs looks fine. There's no big uh, issues in there and also from the event. Just for our validation purposes, we can just go to the terminal and look into the following path to see the, the Docker container or the, the container image that um, attach the, the libraries and the, the connector folders, which part of uh, the connector deployment on the Confluent uh, applications. So now let's navigate to the connector and let's refresh the page. We should find the two additional con uh, connector that we uh, defined, the MEQ source plus data gen connector. So let's start by developing or establishing the MEQ connector source. We're gonna put our initial configuration over there. For example, the MEQ uh, host name simply since both are running in the same cluster we're just going to use uh, the so, uh, the service definition and we're going to use uh, the local uh, port as well so from here we're going to search for our service meq and we're going to use that specific uh, service name and then the namespace and service uh, cluster local and then we're going to use the port which is in this case 1414 and um, the rest of uh, the configuration, either you can leave them as default or you can bring them from your cluster. Uh, for example, the queue manager, we can just navigate to the queue console and copy it from there. 
The same thing for other information such as the channel on the same time, the queue. Also, you can advance these configuration based on your own requirement. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple to test out the connectivity between the MEQ on the same time, um, the topic on Confluent. So now we're going to copy um, the queue and going to specify the type. In this case, it's in the queue. Things looks fine. I think we forgot one more thing, which is uh, the topic, which is the most important part where we need to source this information in the Kafka cluster. Uh, that's supposed to be in the bottom of this configuration. Here we go. So we're going to choose the MEQ2 Kafka topic. We're going to wait for more seconds. Here we go. Now we can see the connector um, are running and ready to serve um, the MEQ and the Kafka topic. Now let's navigate to the topic that we uh, defined and let's wait for a few seconds. Maybe also we can test by dropping a new message in that queue and see how that's going to sync immediately to the topic. Um, as you can see in the following, by just changing the offset to zero, you can see uh, we have the newest message to the top to the right under the value text, which represents the last message that we have dropped. This is a test. And from here, we came to the conclusion of this demonstration. I hope it was very clear. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach us out. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Take care.